Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the game Zen the Zone Zero working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no macOS port of this game at the moment. The iPhone iPad version doesn't natively work on the Mac without some kind of workaround. And today I'm actually going to show you what I think is actually the superior version of this game, the Windows desktop version with the full graphics option and proper keyboard and mouse support. And this is going to be working through the Apple Silicon Mac using a translation layer called Crossover. So in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to get Crossover installed how to install the Windows version of the Horrorverse launcher and I get Zen Zone Zero, the Windows version of the game working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So the first thing that we are going to do is download Crossover 24. So make sure to scroll down and then click on the link at the top of the description. Every single purchase that's made through this link helps to support this channel and the content that I create. So click on the link at the top of the description here and you'll be taken to the Code Weavers website. And in this promo code box, make sure to use the code Apple Gaming Wiki New and you'll get a huge 20% discount off your purchase. But if you're not quite ready to commit to a full purchase of Crossover, then make sure to go back to the home page and then scroll down and you can make use of a fully featured 14 day free trial here. Just press the try now button and then scroll down and then enter your name and email address. And I'm going to press the download trial now button to make use of this trial. So once you have made a purchase, then go and log into your Codeweavers account and then go to the downloads button here and then make sure to download the latest version of Crossover. So once that's finished downloading, we're going to go to our finder button here and then go to downloads. And then we have our Crossover 24.0.0 zip which is the latest at the time of recording double click and then it's going to go ahead and extract into downloads we're going to drag and drop this into our applications folder here so just drag and drop and then within our applications folder we're going to find crossover and then double click and it's saying here crossover is an app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it press open so now that we have Crossover 24.04 installed, which is the latest version that we need to get Hoyoverse working, then we're going to go ahead and create a new bottle. So we do that by clicking on the bottle menu at the top here, click new bottle, and we want to create a Windows 10 bottle here. So we're going to call this one Zenless Zone Zero, which is the name of the game, and then press create. And then while we're waiting, what we need to do is to download the Windows installer of this game. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for the Zenless Zone Zero website, which I'll leave a link to. And what we need to do here is click the download now button, and then we need to press this one, download via Hoyo Play. So click on this and this is going to download an exe file. So the exe file is going to be downloaded here. And just before we do this, I advise you to just turn on D3D Metal and then also turn on msync as well. Click reboot bottle and enable msync. And this is going to give us the best settings for when we actually launched the game for the first time. Then what we're going to do is click the run command and then we're going to click browse here. And then we're going to browse for that file that we just downloaded. So it's this one here. Zenless Zone Zero install exe. So it's the Windows installer file, press open here, and then I'm gonna press run to execute that file. So that's gonna run here. We're gonna minimize this and then wait for this install to come up. You can either click quick installation, which is gonna put it inside the bottle file on your Mac, or you can click on custom installation and put it somewhere custom. So we're gonna to agree to the terms and conditions and then allow this to install. Here we're going to install the Microsoft C++ redistributable, click install here. That's just a prerequisite, press close. And now we're going to press finish and launch. So the bottle has been created, our Hoyoverse launcher is about to come up. And now this is ready to go ahead and start installing Zenless Zone Zero. So we're going to press get game here, and then we can download it straight into this file if we want to. And then we're going to go ahead and press start installation and then it's going to start the download and install process. So this might take a while, it depends on the speed of your internet. So now the game is fully downloaded, what we're going to do is go ahead and launch it. But just before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and get my Bluetooth controller and pair it to my computer. So I've got my Xbox Wireless controller here, and we're just going to make sure that it's connected up via Bluetooth. Just go to system settings, and then you'll see it here by Bluetooth here by pairing it up by pressing this button at the top. And it's gone ahead and paired it, and we're going to go ahead and launch the game, making sure that we have those settings turned on. Zenless Zone Zero, we have D3D Metal and MSync turned on here. So it just might take a few seconds for the game to actually launch. Just give that a moment. And we can see that this is just turning onto full screen now. So as you can see, the game has now launched and we're just going to go ahead and log in. So I'm going to use the controller to play the game and then it's starting to load up. So we need to enter our Hoyoverse email address and password. I'm just going to go and do that now. So if you start off with the controller, you have to use the controller to navigate between the fields. I'm just going to do the capture here to send the verification to my email address. So just go ahead and use the controller to type in your verification code and then agree to all the terms and conditions, press accept. And we're going to press play. I'm going to select my Europe server and it's going ahead and doing an additional download. Now it's checking resource integrity. And now we've managed to launch the main game. 
So as you can see, Zenless Zone Zero works great on the Apple Silicon Mac. This is my N3 Max chip and it's playing very fluidly. There are some stutters, but once all of the shaders are cached, then this is a really quite a smooth experience, which is quite surprising considering that this is a pretty new Windows game running on the Apple Silicon Mac through all of these translation layers. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.